BS7671 edition 18 specifically precludes the use of a PME earthing arrangement when installing an electric vehicle charge point. There are some exceptions and mitigations to this which are set out in 7671 section 72241141. The first of these relates to three phase installations. It's permissible to install an electric vehicle charge point in a three phase installation provided the overall load on the three phase supply is substantially greater than that of the charge point and provided that that three phase load is in balance. With an imbalanced load, a pen conductor failure is unlikely to cause a PME neutral to true ground potential in excess of the prescribed safe limit of 70 volts. However, there are difficulties with this in so much as it's very difficult to prove and document that the three phase supply of a building will be substantially larger at all times than the charge point itself and will be substantially in balance. Therefore, it makes it difficult to use this solution with confidence. The second exception is if the PME earthing is supplemented at the main earthing terminal of the premises with an earth electrode of sufficiently low resistance that under all conditions within the building and under conditions of a pen conductor failure that the PME earth voltage will remain within 70 volts of true earth. Again, providing a supplementary earthing system such as this can be difficult to achieve. The third option is to provide a device which can measure the voltage between true earth and the PME earth within a building. If this voltage rises above the prescribed safety limit of 70 volts, then the device must disconnect the live and protective conductors from the charge point. The City EV Safe Vault is such a device. This device installs in series between the supply board and the charge point itself. It also has a small measurement probe which senses the voltage between true ground and the CPC connected to PME within the building. If at any time the potential difference rises above the prescribed 70 volts, then the safe fault unit will disconnect the live and CPC conductors from the charge point, rendering the installation safe in the event of a pen conductor failure. The safe fault unit itself is simple to install. It simply goes in series between the distribution board and the charge point itself. It has an input connector, which can be single or three phase, and an output connector for connecting to the charge point itself. In addition, it has a connector for connection of the earth sensing probe. It's typically inserted in the ground with a minimum separation distance between the probe and anything connected to the PME supply in the building of two meters. The probe itself is a very high impedance measuring system and doesn't need to be a low resistance such as a protective earth rod or mat. In fact, it can work quite happily up to ground resistances of 120 kilohms and still satisfactorily and reliably measure the potential difference between the true ground and the PME ground. Once installed, the system is entirely self-checking and will continuously measure the resistance of the sensing probe and ensure that it is adequate to properly sense the voltage between true ground and PME ground. In the event of a fault arising in the probe itself or in the connection between the probe and the unit, the unit will indicate a probe failure and will disconnect the charge point, including the CPC conductor, from the supply. It will remain like this until the probe functionality is restored. BS7671 
in 7224141 indent 4 also provides an alternative device for detecting a pen conductor failure and isolating the charge point. In this simplified version, a sensing probe is not required and the device is simply required to measure the line voltage between line and neutral to determine whether or not there is a pen conductor fault. If the voltage falls outside of prescribed limits, currently 207 to 253, then the device will disconnect the charge point from the PME supply until the line voltage returns back to prescribed limits. The City EV Safe Fault is able to perform the functions of both indent 3 and indent 4. In other words, it can operate with a sensing probe, which makes it suitable for three phase uh, charge point installations. It can also work in the mode where it's sensing the line voltage rather than the probe voltage, and this makes it suitable for simpler single phase charge point installations. In addition to the stringent earthing requirements, BS7671 18th edition also specifies that an EV charge point must be protected by a type B RCD. The difference between the usual type A and the type B RCD is the type B RCD can measure and respond to DC leakage currents in addition to AC leakage currents. A type B RCD therefore will trip if it detects a DC leakage current of greater than 6 milliamps. This is necessary because a DC leakage current in excess of 6 milliamps could disable all upstream RCDs, therefore rendering the entire installation unsafe. Type B RCDs, however, have the disadvantage that they are very expensive compared to standard type A RCDs, and in many cases several hundreds of pounds. In addition to the PME protection, the City EV Safe Fault also incorporates type B RCD functionality. This means that it will trip if it senses a DC leakage current of greater than 6 milliamps and represents a considerable saving on EV installation costs. Because the Type B RCD functionality is built into the safe fault, only a standard Type A RCD is needed to protect the EV circuit. I've now prepared a short demonstration which shows the City EV safe fault working in a simulated charge point installation environment. So here we have the simulation. This represents a typical single phase domestic installation. We have an incoming supply here and the ability to interrupt the incoming supply and also simulate a pen conductor fault. The installation has a master RCD. We also have the ability to introduce an earth leakage fault. Here is the City EV safe fault, which can be either included in the circuit to the charge point or excluded in the circuit to the charge point. So initially we have the City EV safe fault not included with the charge point connected directly to the supply. We're also measuring the supply at various points. So we're measuring here the live to neutral volts and live to PME earth volts, 240 odd at the moment. And we're also measuring here the potential difference between the PME earth in the installation and the true ground potential at the moment, just sitting at one volt. First of all, then we can just verify that the RCD, the master RCD, is operating. If we introduce an earth fault, the RCD is now tripped and line to neutral voltage in the installation dropped to zero. The light's gone out on the charge point, so the charge point is also dead, as you would expect. We'll reset the RCD. 
So just to recap, we have 240 volt incoming mains voltage, zero volts between PME earth and true earth. What we can do now is introduce a PME, um, a pen conductor fault. So I'll do that. The pen conductor is now broken and we notice two things. Firstly, the apparent voltage in the installation has dropped to zero, two volts actually, and the charge point is also apparently powered down. But notice now what's happened to the voltage between the installation PME earth and true ground. We now have 240 odd volts difference between the two. This means that any vehicle plugged into the charge point, the bodywork of the vehicle will now be sitting at 244 volts above the ground on which it's standing. Clearly a dangerous situation. So let's reconnect the pen conductor. Voltage to the installation returns to normal. Voltage between PME earth and true earth reverts to zero. Charge point is powered back on. This time we route the supply through the safe fault to the charge point. So the charge point's powered up through the safe fault, all is normal and ground voltage is zero. Introduce a pen conductor fault again. The installation voltage drops to zero as before. Notice also the PME doesn't trip for a pen fault. Um, some installers are under the impression that if the installation has an RCD, that will trip under some such conditions and therefore the installation will be protected. Even if we introduce an earth fault in the installation, still no trip on the RCD. Now notice also, because we're routed through the City EV safe fault, under pen condition failure, we have a completely safe condition. There is no volts now between the PME ground and the true ground. So the vehicle plugged into the charge point is now completely safe. We reconnect the PME, voltage returns to normal there. The unit will now reset and everything is back to normal. Additionally, there are a couple of test functions built into the unit. Uh, the unit uses a small microprobe to detect the voltage difference between true ground and the PME ground. And it constantly monitors that probe for uh, a proper connection. It will work at very high impedance. This probe will work with an impedance up to about 120 kilo. So it uh, only needs to be a very tenuous earth connection for everything to work. But this will monitor that probe the whole time to make sure that the probe resistance is sufficient to accurately measure the touch voltage between PME ground and true ground. I can break the connection to the probe and you'll see that after a few seconds the unit will now disconnect the charge point because we could be in a potentially unsafe condition now but we don't know because there's no measuring probe and you'll see there's now a probe fault light lit up on the charge on the city uv safe fault reconnect the probe and after a few seconds everything should be restored back to normal the output light should come on and the charge point powered up again additionally there is a test for the uh, pme sensing voltage as well bs7671 says that the voltage has to be above 70 volts for at least four seconds for the system to trip so we have a test button here and if we hold that for more than four seconds uh, we should get a trip situation which we have now so now we have an led showing that there is an earth fault and the charge point is powered down again we can reset that back to normal after a test and everything is restored so there we have it city ev safe fault makes the charge point completely safe under pen fault conditions and makes the entire charge point installation completely compliant um, according to BS 7671 18th edition 
and including Amendment 1.